Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargame Red Dragon video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you part 3 of the Second Korean War and in this one it's time to sort out what we're going to bring in as reinforcements. It's time to play out the battles at Seoul and Chuncheon and hopefully engage them on the sea again because we want to probably start by moving down the USS Enterprise and the Escort Flotilla to Naval Sector Juliet. The reason I'm doing that is because it's worth 10. Um, also, it gives us a chance to move into Naval Sector India. Even if they move around to Naval Sector Hotel, we can still engage them, so that's fine. Meanwhile, we need to get the Escort Flotilla to move around. Uh, may as well get the 1st Armoured Regiment to move up. And that's all the easy moves made. Now we've just got to decide where we want to put our aircraft. I think we put the anti-air here against the A5Is and then we have the dragonflies against these guys. Although that's probably a bad idea because no, maybe we should just put them in here. Because I don't really want to fight against those MiG-23 MLs. That's fine. I might also move these guys into Chanchon because they don't have any infantry and therefore we kind of need some <laughs> which is going to be the aviation regiment we could also bring in the h1t's and itos but they do have spags and shelkers so helicopters versus those is probably a bad idea i think here we're probably just best off r and ring because i'm not going to attack soccer there's no point oh we do have this unit coming around the side that's like an airborne regiment moving around. That could be quite awkward. Let's have a look, shall we? What reinforcements we have. We probably need some land reinforcements just to sort of counteract that helicopter movement. I'm not sure if they're going to come around through Naval Sector Delta and into Guangzhou or Daejeon. They could do that. Or that could be the 612th Special Forces Regiment that does that, which has MI-25s. Hmm. Let's bring in the... 38th Infantry Regiment. None of these other ones have command, so they couldn't actually fight on their own. And also they're kind of crappy. The 15th Army Armoured Battalion is kind of bad as well, and they don't have any AA. So if I'm bringing up something to reinforce here. What about the 3rd Lightning Brigade? Well, these guys have 8 Hayusam Red Eyes, but they're only 3 HE power. I kind of need a bit more against MI-24s and 25s and stuff bad thing about uh, like packed air force is like well helicopters they have like 8 HP whereas most NATO aircraft or helicopters have like 4 we could bring in the 3rd armoured battalion for 50 points might be a nice idea to bring that in sooner than later because then they could get to the front line so far I'm having eyes on the 38th Infantry Regiment, probably almost for sure. We'll have them defend this eastern side of South Korea. But I'm not sure about this mechanized infantry regiment. They have Yebigon. These guys are terrible. M14s and Super Bazookas. It's pretty naff. They do have Jigsa Hwagiban though, which are okay, and the Sochongsu. These Jigsa Hwagiban are good because they have the 1,400 meter range. They're also heat, which means they always do at least one damage. So for defense against spam, these guys are perfect. It depends if we're going to hit spam because they do have T90s on the way, but it will be like T90 spam. <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. Chon Ma Ho 5s, there's 72 of those. 72. 90 point tanks. 72. Okay, um, what about Air Force? What Air Forces do we have? Since we have the Enterprise Task Force, we can probably bring in some cool stuff. The tram intruders here. These are air to ship. It would be useful if we were going into this engagement this turn, but we're not. The Nighthawks are F-18Cs. Oh, these are air to ground. Oh, those would be very nice. Uh, Bulldogs are Harriers with 500 kilogram bombs, and then we have Rooks, which are Anti-radar, okay. Honestly, 
These F-18 Sea Hornets are looking pretty juicy, especially for the attack coming in at Ton uh, Chonchong, because these are T-72Ms. They're pretty strong. Yeah, and my M48 AK, A5Ks can't really do much against those. Hmm. Yeah, I think possibly we just have our Super Hornets come in. Actually, not those Super Hornets. What am I doing? We do have Tomcats, though. Tomcats could also be used at the front line here. Um, but yeah, we're going to have the these ones come in. They're 40 points. It's pretty expensive. But we'll see how much work they do at Chun Chong. All right. All right, let's start with the attack at Seoul. This is going to be us versus the remainder of the 32nd Infantry Regiment. So there's Pichongsu, F5s, MiG-23 MLs. Like, their ground forces are terrible. So we can probably just overrun them with KF V40-50s. Let's launch the battle. And we need to do the same as we did before, which was just spread out the commands. So we'll have one at Dejon, we'll have the one at Delta here, and we'll have one at Echo. Okay, that one needs to be in a building. We probably don't need the fob for this battle. And we're just going to spam out the KF V4050. So we'll put like two groups of four here, and then I'll have the rest of them come here. There we go. We'll just sort of fast move towards them because they don't have anything to stop me. Get a couple of STRB 90s in here and I'll afford myself a Donkey as soon as I can. And that should be job done. The computer has 1337 points. Nice, let's launch. We will unload these chaps and we'll have the STRBs move towards uh, to Onjin and then we'll have these guys move up, like so. Let's move the vehicles away from the command. We'll see what we find. Oh, there's some shulkers there. Pretty sure these guys are amphibious. Yeah. So we'll come across here instead, instead of over the bridge. We don't want to just go straight into those shulkers. I don't have to. So why, why bother? Well, we need to bring in that Donkey. I'm also going to bring in maybe some of these Jigsaw Hageban, or even the just Haibyungs. Oh, that's their command. Good luck hiding that. We're just going to drive by, I think. Yep. Easy done. Right, let's just carry on towards to Ong, Ongjin. Uh, we'll have some go that way, some go that way. These guys need to unload. And we need to move them into here so they can kill those shokers for me. And then we'll carry on with the KF V4050s. Have these SDRBs sort of camp their spawn, I think. Nice. Triple kill. That's good. Alright. Move those to Chongsu's to this road to cover that. We'll move these ones into the town now. Go on, KFEs. I might unload these and let the infantry run towards the town. What's that? Is that a command? They're just spamming in commands. I think it is as well. Another one coming down here. Cool, these cargoes we pick up. Hilarious. Yeah, there's one. Where's this other one? 
There was one here as well. Unlike these guys. There it is. I'm gonna have to chase that. Or maybe we could bring the STRB around. Oh no, so Chongxi might get it. Ah, we got it. Cool. Nice. 32nd Infantry Regiment has been destroyed. What I wanted. Job done. Okay, now let's go in for the battle at Chongchong. This is going to be considerably harder, I think. looking at the reinforcements that might come into Seoul. I'm thinking maybe have the attack helicopter squadron here. Let's just move them to Daejeon for now and we'll move on in, into uh, Seoul if we need to next turn. These are Gongbyongs and what do they have here? They've got um, Chongsu, Yakudes and Bantank Faggots. They've also got the Spags in there though. Well, those have 2,800 meter range versus helicopters. That's longer range than my TOTUs, so yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. I don't know. We'll jump into the Battle of Chanchon. We'll sort out the rest of the stuff afterwards. So this is a relatively difficult battle because oh, it's really open, and we're fighting against superior tanks. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I guess we just sort of capture Seoul. We'll capture the Delta and Echo Sector. We'll capture the Daejeon Sector. Don't know about the Sokcho Sector. I think that's kind of pointless. Let's launch the battle. It might just be a matter of Recon and Hornets. What's their AA actually like? So they've got Shilkers. These have... Oh, they're pretty bad range against aircraft, actually. Yeah, I think we just use loads of aircraft. Seems like a good shout. Alright, so. Get rid of that command. Replace them all with command tanks. I probably want a command tank, like, further back. We'll probably have recon in the front. Let's have some recon infantry in here. Or maybe just these Fiat's, they, they're okay. Or even the 086H, but their range versus helicopter is pretty strong, isn't it? So, hmm. Yeah, let's just have infantry, but I won't have it there. I'll have it in this town area, I think. Yeah, like here and here. That's fine. We'll have some here as well. And then I'm going to have, I think just a bunch of tanks would be a good idea in this area. You can sort of block off these two roads going down into the Tissol sector. Oh, we do need a command here. I thought I already put one down. No, we need one at Echo as well. Right, and then we can have maybe some seals like here. And also... Oh, I don't have enough points. Just get rid of some of those. We'll have definitely more of those in the towns. Alright. Then I'll save up for the Hornets. We'll have them all come in. Show their worth. Right. Launch the battle. A bit worried about this. Unload these guys. Get the UH-1Hs out of here. Uh, these guys need to move into here quickly. Unload. Those guys need to move into there quickly and unload. I'll probably turn off their weapons as well afterwards. Unload these guys. Have them move into there. Turn off their weapons. Okay, we're getting 14 in, which is good. Didn't be able to forward our first Hornet. When we spot some dudes like that. We can come in and hit them. Let's fly. 
Well, we took out two with those rockets, which is good. Not sure why we're going for the jeep there, but sure. Whatever. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, that is a bunch of aircraft coming in. Oh, did they all evac? Okay, well, never mind. We'll have that hang about. E-72Ms are coming very close to my recon here. I might have to just run with this. Seem to be getting awfully close. Unless I can get my aircraft in in time. We can take out the spags with the tank, but I'm not sure about T-72s. Oh, sugar. That took a lot of damage. Wow, that's going to be out of commission for a while. I need this other one available ASAP. Not a dragonfly. Maybe we could just bomb it. <laughs> that battle at close range. Goodbye, Dragonfly. <laughs> nice knowing you. Take these T-72s here. Alright, let's buy in another one. Did I even hit that? Bollocks. You found it. Okay, well, never mind. He didn't even kill it? Oh my god. What is that? Oh, good old KFV. -E. Close range. That sucks. Alright, they found my CV. Killed that. Pretty much all we lost so far other than the Dragonfly. Oh, we lost the KFV -E now as well. All of my Hornets have taken a lot of damage. They're not dead, at least. That's one good thing. Uh, we'll focus the T-72 and then we'll focus the Chon Maho. Alright, if I can see it. Got it. Nice. It's a good amount of points actually. Okay, we killed their recon, that's good. Oh, we just got a delay, I guess, until I can get more hornets in. These dragonflies, not really gonna cut it. We could bring in some more M48 A5Ks here to defend. That might be a good idea. Because I'm pretty sure there's another one. Actually, the KFE killed it, didn't it? So never mind. Right, we've got a CV into Sokcho, which is interesting. Jump back a bit with these seals. If anything comes down that road, we can kill it. Oh, we need to be careful with that. Okay, not bad. Yes, seals. You get those T-72Ms. I guess the good thing about them being T-72s is... Uh, ...is that we can kill them quite easily. Well, they cost a lot as well. So we get a lot of kills worth of points for killing them.
Maybe we take out some of these shulkers. We'll take out the T-72M. On my way to coordinates. Out. Or not. What the hell happened there? Let's hope the enemy don't have any air defense. Well, the T-72 dodged my missiles. Where do you need us, sir? Someone need a guardian angel? Tell you what, these Hornets are actually relatively good. Just need to keep picking up these kills. We should be okay. It's a shame we lost our command in Delta, but we could bring in another one if we wanted to. Gotta try and kill those Shulkers if we can. Maybe kill that Spags, those Spags as well. Never mind. I'm gonna make sure that I micro these guys properly. I suppose I can't see anything at the moment. Uh, let's bring in a recon helicopter to this other side over here. Because I might be able to find their command helicopter or something. Oh, sugar. Oh, all my M48s just blew up in one big go. That was nice, wasn't it? That's awkward. Hmm. Where do you need us, sir? Not sure killing cargoes really is uh, the same thing, but oh well. Maybe I can go for a kill onto this Chon Maho, that'd be a nice chunk of points. Got it. Nice. Yes, I'm not. These T72s must have come through the forest, and I didn't see them. Then they just like shot each one of my M48s. Thirty-five points apiece. Get another T72, and then it's just like one more, and we win. It might be worth trying to pick off the command in Sokcho so they don't control that in the next battle because we're only going to get a major victory which I think I'm not sure if that pushes them back out of the sector or not can't remember yeah we're just gonna try and get a spot onto their command here which will likely be a command tank and we'll have my aircraft come over and try and deal with that Where is it? There it is. Okay. Well, these Hornets have most certainly paid themselves off. I'm not sure if we could have done it with our infantry, because our infantry seem to be needing two shots to kill stuff. Just need to keep that in line of sight, and then we win. Job done. Fantastic. Total victory. Oh, we did get a total victory. 101st tank regiment has been destroyed as well. That's the T-72M's gone. All right then. Well, I didn't actually expect that to go so well, but it did. So we put ourselves in a very good position. I think it's time to move on to the next turn since I don't have anything left to do. Yeah, let's end the turn. 
Air Command to US Forces Korea, the SR-71 Blackbirds of the 9th Reconnaissance Wing have been redeployed in Okinawa. They are launching their first observation flights. From now on, we are your eyes. Alright. How do I use those? They come in at uh, this sector down here? No. We are detecting two helicopter-borne enemy regiments over the Yellow Sea. The North Koreans want to circle your defences by attacking from the coast. Our forces run the risk of being taken from the rear. Oi oi. We have also identified Russian T-90s in the midst of several North Korean units. One of these units is crossing the border as we speak. These tanks are superior to anything we have in Korea right now. Okay, so they did move around behind us. We'll have to cut those off. In the meantime, we have an attack on the sector of Seoul, which is just going to be the 22nd Engineer Battalion. Gongbyong and TO 55s are what they're going to be using. Uh, we don't have Naval Sector Charlie, so this is quite simply a matter of using our Sichongsu and hoping for the best because, yeah, I can't really do anything else. <laughs> it's like my only tactic right here. Right. I guess maybe I could like smoke them off. But we'll have to figure that out in the next episode, guys. I am going to leave it here. We'll jump into this battle in the next episode. Um, should be relatively simple, honestly. They have actually landed their marine regiment, but they're not attacking in this battle. That's probably just as well. Okay. And we'll move the rest of our forces. Right. That's all for now, though. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.